In this video, I'm going to show you how to blend two images together in Photop. Hi there and welcome to the video. Let's start by dragging in the other image to add it as a new layer. Both photos used here are available to download from the description box below. Lower the opacity to around 50% so we can position this exactly where we want. As this is more of a creative, surreal composite, I'm not too concerned with things like perspective and scale being accurate to the real world. Now, raise the opacity back to 100% as we need to see what we are doing for the next step. Let's create a very simple and quick cutout of the swimmer. You'll see why we need this in a minute. Use whatever method you like for this, but I'm keeping it simple and using the polygonal lasso tool. It doesn't need to be super accurate, as we'll be refining the edge shortly. I'll speed this part up so you don't get bored and fall asleep. Click on the refine edge button in the upper toolbar. Now I'm not going to go in depth here, but basically this tool helps to smooth out rough cutouts and retain finer details. So the image on the left shows the edges that are being targeted for refinement and on the right side is a preview of the result. If you click on the grey square you can then brush over extra details that you would like to include. As you can see here I'm including some extra hair detail by brushing over the hair edge on the left side image. As you can see more fine detail in the hair has been recovered. When you're happy with the result click OK. Take a second to rename your layers appropriately, it's good practice and keeps things organised. With the water layer selected, add a layer mask by clicking on the layer mask icon. Press G for the gradient tool and make sure the gradient style is black to white. Above the swimmer's head, click and drag down to create a gradient in the layer mask. This will start to blend the two images together. If you hold the shift key, it will lock it in a straight line. The blend isn't quite right for my taste yet, it's too high into the image, so I'll try the gradient from lower down until it's going behind the swimmer's head. This is the reason we made a cut out of the swimmer earlier, so we can manipulate the water to go behind his head for more of a 3D look. Click on the water layer and hold down the shift key before clicking on the swimmer's layer to select both. Now press Ctrl or Command G to add them both to a group folder. This is so we can add adjustments that affect both layers at once as well as individually. Now to make this image work we need to match the colours and tones more closely, so let's start by creating a colour balance adjustment layer. Drag this above the group folder, then hold down the Alt key and click on the layer icon to clip it to the group below. Our adjustment will now only change anything contained within that group. I'll start by adjusting the mid-tone range. There is a lot of blue compared to the road photo, so take some of that away and warm things up a bit. Now we'll do the same for the highlights. It's gone a little green now, so we need to quickly fix that. So just minus five on the green slider is enough. Turning the color balance off and on shows what a huge difference that has made with just a single layer. But there are some red reflections in the water which come from the original photo, so we need to remove those and we'll use the selective color adjustment. We only want this adjustment to affect the water however, so make sure it's sitting directly above in the layer stack, hold Alt and click on the adjustment layers icon to clip it to the water below. In the selective colour controls, make sure absolute is checked and then proceed to change the magenta value to minus 100 in both the red and the magenta ranges. This will remove the red contamination from the water. It's looking better, but the water's still missing the warm tones of the sun reflected in it. So let's create a colour fill adjustment layer and sample a warm sun tone from the road. Maybe pick a tone from around here where there's a lot of reflected sun already. 
and boost the saturation a little to make sure it pops. We can always reduce this later. Alt click on this layer icon to clip it to the water layer, then change the blending mode to colour. Don't worry, this will look terrible at first, but not for long. Double click on the area to the right of the layer name to bring up the layer style window. We can remove the colour from the darker shadow areas using Blend If, which is perfect as we only want the colour in the highlights. Go to the black triangle under the background section and start to slowly drag it to the right. When you see the image start to change, then stop, alt click on the right hand side of the triangle to split it and keep dragging the split triangle to the right. By splitting this triangle it allows for a smoother transition. You should now be seeing the colour adjustment only affecting the reflected highlights in the water. If the effect is too strong for your taste, back off the layer opacity and also feel free to amend the colour fill adjustment itself at this stage if you would like to try a different tone. Create a layer mask on the group folder so we can do some selective blending. Press B for your brush tool and make sure black is the foreground colour. Drop the brush opacity to around 10% and make sure your brush is set as soft as possible so the next step will be smooth. For some reason Photop tends to default the brush to the highest harden setting which is not good for things like this so take it to zero. I'm now starting to slowly mask out areas of the water to reveal a little bit more of the road underneath which adds to the interest of the image. I'm doing this with the brush rather than another gradient as I want it to be less perfect and more organic at this stage. By revealing part of the road in the foreground slightly, it gives the impression of a very shallow puddle, but the guy is still up to his chest in water, which is why this image now has a surreal and abstract quality to it. We aren't done yet though. I'm now going to reach for the trusty gradient tool again, but this time I'll use it to fade out some of the water reflection colour from the very bottom of the image, so the effect has a natural looking fall off. Add a brightness contrast adjustment layer just to add a little, well, brightness and contrast to the image. Only a small amount though as we don't want any hazy mountains in the background to get blown out and detail to be lost. Now if you like this you should check out my video on face swaps in Photopea for some more tips and tricks on blending images together. Thanks for watching.